What's up, guys? Be sure to check out Knight of Misfortune's YouTube channel because look at this. He is doing a Let's Play on XCOM 2, and I loved XCOM 1 personally. And he is on Episode 6, so he's got five more of these for you guys to check out. So be sure to click on the link and watch it. And I'm sorry if I put some spoilers in there for you guys, but seriously... It, he has a wonderful channel, and I would love it if you guys checked it out. But anyhow, guys, thank you, and on with the match. What is up, everyone? It's Mr. Still Your Girl. Very excited to bring you the very first cast of the Steel Speaks Open 2016 tournament. So here it is, guys. The first map is on round one, obviously. It is a best of one. This map is Desolatia. It is a strange one to pronounce, but I'm going to try it again. Desolathia. And here are the players. Here is the first one. We got Ultra Godzilla 1 spawning in as the Yellow Aeon Commander. Doing an early land factory. Going to the mechs with his commander and his other... Oh, no, no, no. He's doing an two early land factories. And then his commander's going to the mechs. I apologize for that. And his engineers are echoing all the things like good Lennel engineers should. And it appears Knight opted... Oh, it is Knight of Misfortune spawning in as the white Cybern commander dropping down a land factory first with his commander, I believe. That's what happened. I did not see it. And going for a second land factory after his mass extractors and he is rushing cobras folks that is what is going on i'm speeding up a little bit as the base building phase is sometimes kind of tedious to watch and i like the eco going on by both players this little engineer definitely could build some mass extractors and let's see what is going on with ultra godzilla one he is doing the same thing he is building more mass extractors as that commander is putting down a third land factory and it appears ultra godzilla one is doing the same thing with a fish tooth and he has got an idle engineer that is the recipe a recipe for disaster against an opponent like knight of misfortune who has his engineer being idle as well um, really should be having these guys helping out with the construction of units. And Knight of Misfortune is sending two of his bots. That is a big investment for a Cybern player because this actually costs research points to make happen. And it appears that Ultra Godzilla is not responding to this threat up here to the north as Cobras are bombarding. And now Knight has bombardments of his own to deal with. He's got the shield up as the loyalists are gathering right there. A mass extractor and an energy generator goes down by these two Cobras. These Cobras pretty much are have paid for themselves. But unfortunately for Knight of Misfortune, these fish deuce are doing the same thing but they're getting two mass extractors because there's three of them and that is a major major loss there for Knight of Misfortune as Ultra Godzilla drops into the yellow Knight of Misfortune going there taking out the fish dudes hopefully Knight of Misfortune for his sake is able to push back this advancement but it appears that the tank and fish tooth combo is just a little bit too strong for Knight of Misfortune to deal with at this moment. Now we got two Cobras going up north. Hopefully to do what they did a second ago. And it appears that uh, Ultra Godzilla 1 is mass stalling right now. He does not have the money for that. And Knight of Misfortune has an engineer just chilling there. But I think he wants to expand north. As he rebuilds his mass extractors right on the... Right on... The Rex, that is the right thing to do, guys. Now, Knight of Misfortune is in quite a predicament here, as he doesn't have much to defend these... Like, as you can see, these tanks outrange the bots quite easily. But the bots are dancing, and we're able to destroy one of those tanks. And 
Ultra Godzilla 1 has his commander behind enemy lines. A very, very obnoxious thing to do, of course, here. Um, but this could be a de defeat very quickly for Godzilla. But it's very annoying for Knight to deal with. Now, he can't build a point defense at this moment because this one fish tooth will destroy the point defense. And Knight is looks like he's getting overrun here to the north. Does he have structure detonate to deal with these units knight is trying to repair that unit knight needs to back his units up but his acu up but it appears his acu is tanking that damage like a bows but lots of damage done here an energy generator and a point defense goes down while knight is in the yellow knight really needs to send that engineer back to repair that commander because there is going to be a second wave of attacks and it's going to be very very painful here knight doing the smart thing and sucking up that yummy yummy mass to help build bots to just deal with this threat here now some cobras right here would be really really nice to see now ultra godzilla one is microwing his units quite well against a cybern player now i would like to see this point defense built over the wreckage here but it's not being built over the wreckage it should be knight should build another one over the wreckage that would be one way to survive this onslaught knight needs to turn around and do something with this acu his acu is very very much so in trouble as that as that <laughs> land factory is destroyed and these units have lots of health on them is there a research station here this is kind of weird. I did 1,800 hit points. That's quite a bit of hit points. I think um, Ultra Godzilla 1 was focusing on, on what would you call that? Focusing on training on his units. Now, a long-range point defense is definitely a smart thing for Ultra Godzilla 1 to have. Now, if Knight had a couple of cobras here he would he could do something about this now knight is going for ultra godzilla one's acu just walking in there trying to push in there the best he can his health is dropping but somehow knight can't get in there now this should be enough boom down goes knight of misfortune as ultra godzilla one is dropping down into the uh, 900s that was not a draw strangely enough knight of misfortune was unable to pull the draw draw off i could have sworn that would have been a draw at that point that was a very very much a very very um hair raising match like i was almost on the seat of my chair the whole time because i could have sworn that knight of misfortune would have cinched this judging on the hours of these guys and that is not an insult to unite a misfortune um but ultra godzilla one was very very tricky and was able to send in his units around the back and get in there and cause so much havoc causing Night of Misfortune to split his attention. And when you are splitting your attention on the defensive, it is very, very difficult. So very well played there by Ultra Godzilla 1. You did an awesome job there, Knight. You are an excellent player, and I promise you, that was a tough mass from, match from a very good player. An unexpectedly good player. And I'm not insulting you any in any way, Ultra Godzilla 1. You did an awesome job. That was a very, very sneaky trick, and very unexpected to base in your opponent's base especially in the very very first match of the still speaks open 2016 so thank you guys for watching a very and thank you players for playing in the still speaks open 2016 you guys are really what make this tournament happen because if it weren't for you players this would not actually be happening and i know i said that twice i am just being very silly because i am almost flabbergasted by such turn of events especially for the first match this is going to be a very good tournament judging by the first match anyhow night of misfortune you get a second chance there in the second chancers bracket i think you could do very well considering what may come your way so any ultra godzilla one very well played you are moving on to round two thank you guys for playing and thank you viewers for watching um be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe.
And leave me some comments, guys, because I love hearing what you have to say. You guys have been so positive and so welcoming towards this channel, and I really appreciate that. And as I have been doing in the past, I want you guys to type something just to show me that you have listened to my rambling and and are willing to comment me. Let's just say the code word will be Godzilla. So type Godzilla in the comments below, and I will be very, very thankful for that. And anyhow, guys, you need to share this with your friends, family, and foes, because they need something interesting to watch as well. And as always, everyone, GG.